line is being split between contours or uh, split between on premise world and online world so suppose contours.com is your domain we are saying that that can be split between on premise world and the online world so a uh, environment where you are having the non critical users move to the online world so your non critical users are homed in the online and enjoying the online feature sets and your critical users who cannot be deployed in online world are in the on premise infrastructure if that is the environment you are having in your topology if that is something that you're looking into that i will like to have my users enjoy the on online feature sets as well as i will have my on premise deployment that is when you come together and do a hybrid deployment so in by having a hybrid deployment we are saying that you can enjoy both the workloads so you can enjoy both the worlds both the worlds feature sets that are available your users would be enjoy uh, would be able to enjoy both the workloads so yes it's a split domain concept as i said you can if you are having a domain called contoso.com you can go ahead and split that uh, it only works with office 365 multi tenant it's mandatory that you have office 365 tenant otherwise your otherwise your uh, hybrid deployment will uh, will not work it doesn't work between your on premise and office 365 but it has to go along with it so all has to work together that you have to have your on premise deployment and your online deployment and what we are saying is that you are splitting the uh, sib domain between the on premise and the online world so this is the architecture that we are looking in so we have the on premise deployment every server role that we have discussed if you see has been deployed in the on premise world and the question is now how will my users would move to online how will my groups would move to online how the online office 365 world would go ahead and have those uh, users or would be able to uh, have or uh, get the data in the online world that's when we talked about in my previous slide also we did talk about directory synchronization and fin here also we are talking about when we are saying that we are, you have to go for a hybrid deployment we are saying that directory synchronization is a must component apart from all the server roles that you are go, have deployed apart from that you need to have directory synchronization in place so what exactly will directory synchronization would do directory synchronization will go ahead and synchronize your local active directory data to your office 365 world to your skype business office 365 world so when it would populate the data when it would synchronize the data, data in online then what would happen is that from office 365 world the skype for business online that is your front end pools and the edge pools will use that data would get provisioned and skype for business online will use that provision data from office 365 and the data would synchronize and it would get stored in azure active directory so that is the reason why the directory synchronization is a mandatory component in your local active directory however what is the optional component is active directory federation service it's a optional component and why uh, would you need active directory federation service active directory federation service would be required in two instances one if you are looking for single sign on now when what is single sign on single sign on is nothing but when you are going ahead and want or your admin or your organization wants that your user using one set of credentials uh, would be able to log in to their office 365 so they don't have to maintain uh, you know many credentials and they don't have to go ahead and uh, get pop ups like what happens is when you have hybrid and deployed if you want uh, many pop ups to come up for the user to go ahead and given their credentials then uh, the user have to go ahead and put the different credentials in that pop ups so uh, what you are eradicating